that the Christians will, and the Jews will not be satisfied with thee unless you accept their religion. And here I find another proof that Muhammad was a foolish man. And when he made that statement, he just got himself busted. Because the fact, Muhammad, he followed the religion of the Jews and the Christians. It was not the opposite. <clears throat> Before we go there, let us see what the verse is saying. I'm following this chat right now on YouTube. The If you notice the previous frames, this guy's name is, he goes under a few pseudonyms, the Arabian prophet or Christian prince, but mostly we call him CP or Christian prince. And following his chat for, I, I forgot how long now, has led me to realize the need for a simple Bible study Christo message about Christ, Christology for young converts, you know, especially people who leave the faith of Islam. There is an, I felt there is a need for it, we asked them, to go to church. But if you live in Pakistan or India or some place like that, it's not always possible to find a church. And besides, there are so many denominations, it would really be confusing for young Christians why there's so many denominations. Which one do you go to? And it's hard to just walk in a church and say, I want to be a believer. Or we tell them to read the Bible. Which part of the Bible? The New Testament? What about the Old Testament? How are they related? Why do you have two Testaments? What's the relationship between Christianity and Judaism? There's so many questions. I've been a Christian ever since I was a little girl, going to Sunday school, learning Bible story, learning the Bible one story at a time for 60 years. So I only just now realize the confusion or the problems faced by new converts, adult converts. So it would be really good, I'm sure, to give them a, a brief taste, a brief introduction to the faith, and they can go deeper later on. I remember when my mother was, my mother was an, an educated person, when as an adult, he, she came to know Christ, she attended Bible study, and she had a Bible, She's, she reads Chinese, and the leader was saying, go to Matthew chapter 4, verse 24, or something like that, and she would have no clue. She said, I was so embarrassed. But she came home, she went through the Bible, and in a few weeks, the next time, she went back to Bible study, when the leader said, go to Isaiah 40, chapter, uh, chapter 40, verse 1 to 3, she knew how to get there. I don't know if she knew, well, if... If she, there, pro there probably was an index in her Chinese Bible, I'm sure, but that was her, her testimony. And I'm sure it would be the same thing for, for new converts today, especially adult converts, especially if they came from no faith. Some are pretty, pretty good, very motivated. They can do it on their own. They can pick up somewhere in the middle of the Bible, like Isaiah, and read it and, and be really inspired, or others would read, start with the gospel. I've heard a testimony of someone starting with the gospel at Matthew and reading up to the Beatitudes, and he was really blown over when it said, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven just to hunger and thirst for it, for it. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to complete the task, but just be in the process of doing it to hunger and thirst for righteousness sake. It's already a blessing. Where, which religion would bless you that way? Every religion needs you to, to complete the task, to do something for your God. But here, just having that desire <laughs> already fit you for heaven. It's like, whoa. And I hope 
we will go along this journey together. I'm learning too. It's not like I've completed. There's always something to learn. Thank you.